Hi guys, Apostle Karen Proctor here with Wednesday's Walk and Talk. I'm in the park um, getting ready to walk, but I wanted to just share this word with you. And that is persistence. You have to be persistent in whatever it is that God has called you to. You have to be persistent. I know sometimes you are looking for results and you're not getting the results that you may feel that you need at a particular time, no matter if it's a weight loss journey, if it's healing, uh, healing in your body, whether it's mending a relationship or growing a business, uh, growing closer and stronger to God, whatever it is that is set before you, I want to encourage you to be persistent. And before I go on, I'm going to ask you if you can please subscribe to my channel, share out this video. If this word is a blessing to you, I know that it will be a blessing to someone else as well. So hit the subscribe button, turn on a notification bell. That way when I upload new content, you will get the new content. Yes. Uh, also, I want you to drop down in the comment section. Comment on the video. Let me know what it is uh, you are facing right now. Maybe you are getting ready to give up. Uh, let me know what it is you need strength on. The word of today is persistent. You know, I'm out here walking as I try to do at least four to five times a week. And before I came out, I was what I would term drop dead sleepy, just sleepy. Had a very busy day so far, but yet and still I know that I need to walk. I'm on a journey to uh, become stronger physically, to lose some weight, and overall just to be in good health. And so even with that, it takes a level of persistence. It takes a level of being consistent. And what I thought about is there was a widow lady, an old widow lady. If you will go to the book of Luke chapter 18, the Bible says that uh, in her town, she was met with so much of trouble and problem. So she went to the judge of that town to help her out. The Bible describes this judge as a wicked judge that did not regard God, had no regards for God at all, did not like men at all. But this lady knew that it was the judge that could help her out of her trouble so she went to him one time two times three times finally the judge says you know let me take this lady adversaries off of her back unless she continue to come to me notice that unless she continue to come to me unless she continue to weary me out see this lady was persistent it didn't matter to her that the first time she went to the judge, he didn't do nothing. The second time she went to the judge, he didn't do anything. But she knew where her help was going to come from. That's why she continued to go to him. And the moral of this story is she had faith that whatever she asked for, whatever, <laughs> I jumped, I didn't know what that was. She had faith that whatever she was believing for, that if she was persistent, that she would have those things. And so Jesus sums it up like this. He says, this lady has so much of faith that she believed that the wicked judge could help her out. He says, how much more than your heavenly father would do for you? If you believe, if you have faith, 
if you are persistent in your prayer, God will answer. Sometimes we give up at the first try, the second try. Oh, I'm going to give up. That man ain't going to help me. That lady ain't going to help me. This relationship will never be made whole. I will never be successful as a business owner or ministry. I don't know. Whatever your situation is, I want to encourage you today to be persistent. I had to be persistent by getting up. No matter how sleepy I was, I know that it's X amount of steps that I need to make today to strengthen my body to lose weight, to become healthier than I am. So I had to forget about the sleep because I'm going to go to sleep eventually. I just don't need to sleep right now. I need to walk. So today's prophetic word is, and I know that God is speaking to someone because God will use simple things to get the attention of somebody. So I want to encourage you today to be persistent in whatever that is, whatever task it is that is set before you. So let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. I humble myself, Lord God, under your mighty hand. Lord, I pray for the viewers, those that may be going through one thing or another. God, I pray that you will give them the strength to be persistent on the journey that you have called them on no matter what come their way father god i pray that you will uh uh just strengthen them and that they will apply the faith that you have given them because you said to every man you have given a measure of faith in jesus holy name i pray amen and amen well beloved god bless you once again if this is your first time coming to this channel you have come to the channel of Apostle Karen Proctor. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share out the video. Uh, bye for now.